needs to take place. I understand that. I mean, I even said it best myself one time in a video, and I think even in some text somewhere. I said that Ian seems to be doing better with Mega Man and Sonic Universe because those are comics that when they first began, he's been working on since the very first issue of each. So yeah, I can understand where they're coming from when people say, yeah, a reboot of the main comic would help him. But you see, what Ian's doing, whether we like it or not, is he's trying to show respect for those that came before him. And yeah, he's adding, no, he's adding in his own little details here and there. He's adding in his own little um, you know, creations and his own little arcs and stuff to be part of the continuity and part of the canon. That is true. There's, there's no doubt about that. But I think what we need to understand what we need to understand, folks, is there's a lot of writers that do that in comic books. You know, even before Marvel and DC decided to do the little reboots, if you will, anybody that took over on a comic book in any of those that was you know, published by either one of those major corporations, that writer would continue on where the previous writer left off. Let's say somebody was taking over for the main head writer of the of Spider-Man before the whole One More Day BS took place and the whole reboot took place. The whole Superion deal, or Superion Spider-Man, whatever you want to call it. Let's say that the writer that came, let's say the writer that came after the previous writer, you know, basically, let's just say the writer that came would come after the previous head writer, that person would continue on what the other person did. Now, they would add in their own little, you know, niche here and there, but they'd still be staying true a little bit to what came previously. And that's exactly what Ian's doing. He's staying true to the continuity and what came before him, courtesy of people like Penders, Bowlers, Gallagher, you know, and the list could go on. He's paying tribute to them by continuing on and referencing a lot of the story arcs and stuff that they wrote before he came on board. So, yeah, as much as a reboot may help him out, a reboot may work, it's not going to happen. Basically, we got to look at it like this with Ian. What's going on right now, we may not like how the crossover is coming about. We may not like the fact that the crossover is just going to be another like Genesis situation. Basically, Genesis 2. We may not like that, but, you know, if Ian is going to cause things to come full circle, then let him cause things to come full circle. You know, the thing is, I, I believe what Ian's trying to do, let's say, for example, the traitor situation, is Ian is trying to wrap that up so he can move on. Because I think Ian's realizing that a lot of fans are getting sick and tired of constantly seeing Silver show up and accusing someone of being the traitor when he doesn't have no real proof. So honestly, I think that's what Ian is trying to do. He's trying to wrap that up. He, I'm pretty sure Ian, it's like I, like I used to find an example one time in one of the previous audio videos I did this week. You know, I'm pretty sure Ian knows that as much as he probably wanted to wait on the crossover, he's probably thinking, okay, if I get this crossover out of the way, get it done with the way they want, I could probably get everything wrapped up and I can move on to another story, to the next arc or something. So, you know, whether you like Ian or not, and again, I've admit I've had my problems with him myself, but, um, you know, you got to respect the fact that he's going to try to wrap things up and be done with it. And I don't think anybody can disrespect him for that. So, quite honestly, we just have to wait and see what he does. And again, like I said before, I don't think a reboot's going to happen. I don't think the comic's going to get liquidized or whatever you want to call it. I think everything's going to be okay. Uh, we just got to wait and see. I mean, this person here, though, they used an example. And I think the other person used an example as well. It's basically what I said. In the video I talked about with the positives and negatives. 
I feel that if Ian does use the characters again, it finds a way to use the Panda characters again, they're gonna work away they're gonna find a way to work around that. And again, it bears repeating, all they have to do is switch the names around a little bit and probably redesign them here and there. It'll be the same characters, they'll just be different. They'll probably be a little different looking, but and the names might change a bit, but they'll still be the same characters. But anyway, enough about that and my response to some of these uh these two little rants here. I thought I'd just got let you guys know what these people had to say. Again, I'll provide a link down below in the description box. I'm sorry this went to about two to three parts. Um, but again, comment down below if you like. Let me know what you guys think. Again, the links will be provided in the description box, in the playlist box. And I will talk to you all later.